We're going live on Facebook. Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to week 700, 633,000 <laughs> of the No Woman Left Behind Telesummit. This Telesummit has been so amazing that we thought we would continue it week over week leading up to our main event in Indianapolis. And we are so excited about the race to freedom. And the race to freedom is a mindset. Let me tell you something. In order for you to participate in the race to freedom, and hold on, let me get us set up on old Periscope. You got to be present. Mm -hmm. And that's what we struggle with. You know, the race to freedom will not be televised. And it may not even be live stream because there are some things uh, that you have to show up in person to be able to receive. Um, there are some things and some people that you need to show up in person to meet. And we were just talking about that. Uh, prior to going live on Facebook, we were just talking about not getting left behind and making sure that in everything you do, you turn what you know and what you've, what you've learned and what you've experienced into money and into intellectual property and that you stop allowing yourself to be left behind by your lack of belief in you. And so joining me this morning, I have one of my favorite students, Alto Vies Pelzer, and then one of my newest students, Atika, Atika Watson, Watkins, let me get it right, Jesus, uh, <laughs> Atika Watkins. And we're gonna be talking today about, you know, why it's important that we not leave women behind. And I'm sure, Atika is going to be talking to you about not being left behind in your finances as a small business owner. Hey, hey, Periscope in the house. If you guys want to join us live, uh, we're live on Periscope, but it, uh, on Facebook. But if not, I'm going to prop my good old phone up. Hold on, y'all. Look at me. Mm-hmm. Hey, highly favorite. I'm going to prop that phone up, and then I'm going to let y'all do what y'all do. Uh, uh, go ahead and, and uh, uh, kick us off, Alto Vies. So, hey, everybody. Thank you guys for joining us for another episode of the No Women Left Behind Tele Telesummit interview series where we are interviewing the amazing speakers that have been speaking out on the ways that we are not leaving women behind because that is what our goal is for 2017, is that there will be no woman left behind. Now, of course, today is April 1st. It's April Fool's Day. So, of course, our, you know, we all have that, we, those people that we've been giving a side eye to because we're checking to see if they're going to try to trick us today. But I can guarantee you that today's interview is no trick. It's no, it is not a trick at all. But what I want you to do is thank you so much for joining us, but I also want you to share this out because there's another woman who may be your sister, your friend, your daughter, your mother, or even a coworker who may need this information. So if you haven't done so or already, or if you have, share this out on your Facebook pages, in your groups, on your business pages, because there's someone somewhere that can utilize this information in order to make sure that this is the year that they are not left behind. So think about the amazing things that come with not being left behind. Um, one of the biggest things that I often see is that, guess what? We all have that one story of when we've been tricked or fooled when it comes to business. We got that story. Ooh, I saw your face, Tika. I know you got a story. <laughs> we all have that one story where we've been tricked or fooled when it comes to business. And when the behind is, uh, is us literally taking each other by the hand and saying, guess what, you may have gone through it, but I've gone through it too, or I have what you need in order to make sure that you don't go through this again. 
I have what you need in order to make sure that even though you went through it this time, next time you'll be able to see the warning signs, the shots fired, so to speak, as April Beverly would say, you will be able to see the warning signs and not go down that path. Mm -hmm. So Tika, what is one way in, in your whole journey so far with business that you see either that you have been fooled or you may not want to share <laughs> or a way that you see that some of your clients have been fooled when it comes to business? Thanks so much for letting me uh, join the uh, Danielle Winningham uh, Tele Summit. It has been amazing is my new word. Listen, a lot of small business owners are fooled and bamboozled by people posing as bookkeepers or tax preparers or CPAs even who are supposed to be highly professional and understand or be a subject matter expert in terms of knowing uh, bookkeeping and general ledgers. Um, but I can tell you, if you as your own small, if you're a, a small business owner or an entrepreneur doing it on your own, the core fundamental and the one fundamental thing you need to understand is your books. You need to understand them first before you hire somebody on because you won't know if they're providing you the service that you're paying for or not. People spend all kinds of money, and I know this for a fact. They'll spend in the thousands of money to hire and bring on bookkeepers, and they won't know if they're filing any of their reporting for them. They'll uh, get themselves into a lot of tax trouble, not just with the federal government, but with the state as well and with their locals. You know, and, and they're thinking because they have a professional on board that that professional is doing and providing the services services that they pay them for. And in actuality, they haven't. So I would say the way that you can keep from being bamboozled as a small entrepreneur, this is somebody who has a business that's less than five years old, and maybe you don't have all of the infrastructure. Maybe you don't have an adequate website, but you sell a product and you sell a service, you and you alone need to understand your financials. You need to know what's going in them. You need to know what's coming out of them. You need to know what it represents and you need to know what it me so that when you bring on a professional such as myself and we come with these high dollar prices because we're going to charge what we're worth you'll know okay yeah i'm good to pay you that but i need to see this this and that and so that's what i'd say definitely so i know that for me in business sense it's definitely been a lot it's been that up and down for me. It's been that idea of you think everybody's that good sister friend. And so I reached out and I um, connected with people thinking that it was that, that community, that it was that sister friend. And for me, I got fooled because I took emotion and used emotion instead of using um, research. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that that goes heavily with what you just said, because a lot of times we get so caught up in the emotion of, yes, I've made it. I have a CPA. I have somebody that has the letters behind their name. Mm -hmm. I did it. I accomplished something. <laughs> we and made it. it. At the bottom. <laughs> sometimes those credentials, they they're good. You know, it's good to have a CPA. It's good to be a, a mastered level professional. But, you know, coach says something that's key. It, I mean, it's very, very key. If you get nothing else, she says, you don't know what you don't know. So therefore, if you don't know your financials, you don't know what a professional is doing in your books. You have no idea. And so it's, it's, it's absolutely imperative that you know from, from where I sit, what it is that's going on with your books at least to be able to identify as you grow, I need this, I need, I need this, and I need that. Definitely. So those who are in watching us live, again, thank you guys for joining us for another episode of the No Women Left Behind Telesummit interviews, where we are interviewing some of the amazing speakers that you have been seeing live on the telesummits and things that we've been doing. And some of these same amazing women you will get to meet in Indianapolis in May, May 19th to the 21st. So if you haven't done so already, make sure that you're registered to join us. That is bit.ly forward slash 300 women 
Indy for you to join us for Indianapolis, where a lot of these same women will be coming to you live and in person. You'll get, be able to see that they are real people and you'll be able to touch and talk to them and, and build some connections. That's definitely what this whole No Women Left Behind Telesummit and interview series has been about. It's about building those connections. It's about having that support because guess what? A lot of times, and we're going to go into another piece of what we've been fooled about when it comes to our business is we've been fooled in thinking that we can do it all by ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so we don't invest into the class. We don't invest into the program. We don't invest in reading books. We don't invest in a CPA because we think that we can do it by ourselves. Mm -hmm. So now with that being said, that being fooled, um, how many times do you come across a business who they thought they could do it all by themselves and then they got to you and you were looking at their <laughs> you were looking at their books and looking at their documents going what is this almost like a, a kindergarten picture coming home and you're like oh that's a great mm -hmm. so they can tell you what it is <laughs> That, that's probably more common than not that, you know, when uh, bookkeepers uh, sign on uh, to their, their, their new client, you know, and as they begin to dig into their financials to, to figure out, you know, because the financials are going to tell you a whole lot of things. You know, it'll tell you whether you're making money and it'll tell you whether, you, whether you're not. And then sometimes you may feel as a, as a business owner that you're really, really cash poor. But really, it's because you don't have any systems in place that help you determine how you how your cash should flow. Um, but more times than not, that's more common that um, uh, that the small business owner is is not aware of their books. But a lot of times, um, uh, the more obvious uh, incident is when they're actually in a situation like a tax situation where they absolutely have to have help. You know. And, you're, and there are people that, that look for those immediate situations to gouge you. So let's just dial it back. You need a bookkeeper on your team. You need someone that is going to be your right hand in your business, that thinks as you think, that has your vision and your mission in mind to be able to see if your financials paint that same picture. Mm, and see, that's big. I see a lot of people on the chat saying that's good. And they're naming some of the names and they're like, great, don't want to be left behind. I know that's right. So, you know, guys, this is definitely a conversation that we need to have because we as women, a lot of times, again, we don't reach out for the help that's necessary. We don't reach out for that's that food part. We think we can do it on our own. So we don't reach out or we don't make the investment, the proper investments. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? We try to get as much as we can for the free 99 or for the dollar 99. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to be very careful when it comes to that. So I saw a coach slide in the room. You got something uh, to talk about, coach? Well, I wanted to talk about that real quick. See, I'm one of those people that I'm all about collaboration. I'm all about the next level. We're going to be coming to 20 cities, and I know I can't do it by myself. So I'm asking you guys, like, be an ambassador. Do something that's going to help your business and mine at the same time. You know, Zig Ziglar said the best way to get uh, what you want is to help other people get what they want. So I'm one of those coaches that I'm going to help you expand your business because I know it's going to help me expand mine. So if you're interested in being an ambassador, we start next week getting in groups and hashing out these cities. And you can actually um, show up for uh, more than one city. And to me, that's a beautiful thing to be able to not just try to get an event off the ground in your city, but to be able to go to multiple cities and grow your brand. How many of you think that's awesome? Because me personally, I think that that's like award-winning. Like when I started, I had to grow my business by myself, you know, in my city. And then I had to turn around and grow in my region. Then I had to turn around and grow in my state. Then I had to turn around and grow in the Gulf Coast. Then I had to turn around and grow within uh, the, the United States. Then I had to go international. 
And what we're saying is you don't necessarily have to take all of those steps. We have opportunities for ambassadors, sponsorships. You can choose to sponsor one city or you can choose to sponsor all 25. Uh, we have opportunities for presidents who are going to stay on the ground even after, you know, the event is over. And we have opportunities for uh, members who just want to be connected with like-minded individuals. If you go to bit.ly slash. It's bit.ly slash freedom help. Freedom Help, that is. I ain't said it enough times for it to grow on me. bit.ly slash Freedom Help. We're going to get you signed up. Oh, and to me, one of the best parts of being an ambassador is you get access to a pre-creation class, a sales funnel class that Coach is going to be kicking off in September uh, for free as long as you bring enough people to the event. And it's not a lot of people. It's like three people to Indy and like five people to the, 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 the citywide event. So a free coaching course for me valued in the thousands because I'm going to teach you how to create products that make thousands. And, and then you turn around and you get the opportunity to grow the bandwidth of your business, make some amazing connections of like-minded people. Like to me, why would you not want to be an ambassador or a sponsor? And even the presidents get the training for signing on as well. So go to bit.ly slash freedom help and sign up now. Stop missing opportunities to partner with like-minded people. You know, I, t I told them at, at the end of last year, we about to collaborate to get this cash. And, and my question right now is who's on board? Who's on board? Say me if you're on board. Say me if you're on board. Yep, that's it, Ayana. bit.ly slash freedom help. And it talks about the ambassador position. But if you complete that application, we'll get you in the right spot. Yes. You know, to me, this is the time for women to come together to, number one, change our lives, but number two, change the world. And the bottom line is you can't do it by yourself. As much wellness as I want for women, and I was talking to Atika earlier, and I just want to ask you guys a question. How many of you know you need small bookkeeping help for your business? Just say me. And while you may not be able to afford $1,500 a month to hire a Tika, if she had a course that was $59 or $99 a week, how many of you would sign up? Because you're missing thousands by not having a bookkeeper for your business. Somebody, Lord G said me, uh, Tika said me. So I was, I was telling a Tika that she has a right and responsibility. Derek said me. Uh, good morning, Derek. Uh, she has a right and a response. Jennifer said me. So we just got started. Crystal said me. And folks are saying me. So I know there's a need for that type of training out there. And what we have to realize is just because something is easy for us, doesn't mean it's easy for any everybody. The second thing we have to realize is we all have something to bring to the table. So if you say, I can't afford to go to Indianapolis, what that means is that you're not using what you have in your hand. Hey, Dia, I need to inbox you because I'm coming to South Carolina. Whoop, whoop. Yes, we talked about it, Dia, but I'm about to make it happen. Uh, if you can't afford to meet me on the, room, on the road, that's because there's something in your hand that you're not using to create paper. And like we just said before this call, and I'm doing a scope about it later, if you can't get it on paper, you can't make paper with it. And that is the truth of the matter. Okay. And so uh, that's right. It, everybody has a different gift. And I want to show you how to take that gift and turn that gift into money in the world. And in return, we all grow our businesses. That's the other thing I want to say before I get out of here and let you guys continue, is that there's more than enough for everybody. If you believe that, type in me. And if you haven't shared this video, share the video. There's more than enough for everybody. We got to stop acting like my portion is also Vista's portion, because it's not. And that my, my portion is Atika's portion, because it's not. There's all a portion laid aside for each and every one of us. And if we're not doing our share to get our portion, meaning we're not waking up every morning, 
going to get our portion, then that's why we don't have it. It has nothing to do with me having a Rolls Royce ghost. It ain't got nothing to do with that. That's my ghost. It got nothing to do with that. You don't have a ghost because you're not waking up every morning doing what you need to do with your gifts. And we've got to stop being embarrassed. Uh, two things. I'm saying two more things. That's it. Two more things. You cut my mic off. Number one, we got to stop being embarrassed about what God gave us. Somebody say amen. That means if he gave it to you, you have a destiny. You have a divine, uh, uh, you have a divine, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Responsibility to package and put it out in the world. That's number one. Number two, if you can't put what God gave you out in the world, you can't expect for blessings to rain down on you. And that's just the truth of the matter. The money is unlimited. The opportunities are unlimited. But are you showing up to get those opportunities? So I'm going to see who's ready to show up today. It is free to sign up as an ambassador. You get 20% off of everybody you bring to an event. And you get a free coaching class with Coach valued in the thousands just for being an ambassador for Indianapolis or your city. Now, I, and you get to grow your business and you get to travel to multiple states in your region. I can't think of any reason that you would not sign up to be an ambassador other than the fact that you really just rather complain about money than make some. bit.ly slash freedom help. We about to rip these states apart. Or will you be there? I'm going to be there. Auto B said her kids out for the summer. I'm going to be there. Ramonica, go and bring Puka Jr. Uh, Cheryl, we're going to do the driving for you, baby. You ain't even got to worry about uh, 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 being able to uh, look at the road. We got this. Robin's coordinating all these cities. We got this. Will you be with us? Will you be a part? Will you be able to look back at summer 17 and say that was the year that me and all these women got together and just blew it up? We said we was going to do it, y'all. It's here. Let's go. Anyway, I'm going to turn my mic <laughs> and my camera off. Mm -hmm. Troy said thank you. <laughs> he and that talking about me, talking about you said you just going to say a couple of words. You still talking. Hush, boy, and cook the grits. You hush and cook them grits. That's what you do. <laughs> there y'all. <laughs> yes, that was definitely so true. And again, that goes back to one of the, another one of those things that we've really been fooled about when it comes to us as women in business is that we can't collaborate. <laughs> we think that there's no opportunity for us to collaborate or we think collaboration means that we have to barter. Right. Mm -hmm. So how many times do you get people who say, <laughs> and they may not say, I'm a little extreme. Y'all know, just if you don't know who I am, I am out to be spells. <laughs> I am the unicorn, so I see things different. I speak different. I, I, I think different. But how many times have you had people come to you and say, I want to use your services and I will give you this bubble gum, this bubble gum wrapper. I want to use your services. I'll give you this, um, this straw. And no, they may not be saying it in that particular way. They may not be offering that particular thing, but it's almost along the same lines when it comes to the value of what they're trying to offer you. And we kind of miss something in the in the translation of what it means to collaborate so when you think about collaboration tika in your field when it comes to leaving no woman left no woman behind what does collaboration mean for you collaboration definitely means uh teaching uh business owners it means teaching even their staff if they have staff all the fundamental things that they need to that they need to uh, to have in order for them to go, uh, whether whether they're with me or not, equipping them with all the useful tools that they need to have in order for, for, for them to grow their business, especially to have a sound financial system. That's collaboration. 
Now you just said something right there, Tika. So how important is it as well to have everybody on the same field when it comes to knowing information? Because you said not just helping them or working with them, but working with their team as well. It's, it's absolutely important. I mean, you can trace back uh, to uh, a small business owner's financials, what they're doing and what they're doing in excess or not doing enough of. Sometimes you're even paying people to do the same job. So even, you know, structurally, you may need to define what those roles are so that, so that you're not paying two people to do the same thing. So it's absolutely essential. So for those who are watching us live, those who will be catching the replay, think about your business and the things that Tika is saying. Are you literally double paying people? Are you paying out two different people, you know, paying two different people to do the same exact job? Are you being as efficient and as effective as possible? And if you could have somebody help you get to the point where you can be at the highest level of efficiency and effectiveness, how valuable is that to you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, that's, that's the big question. See, we may say that we know, you know, what's going on is not at the highest level, but how valuable is it for you to get at the highest level? And, you know, Altavis, I've had a situation where, uh, brought on by a, by a client and what happened was their, their CFO had died. They had a team of, of people and literally their business stopped because the chief financial officer failed to collaborate with the team. So it's vital. It's vital. That means pe you're not going to get paid. That's mean, that means you're not going to pay your bills. That means that you're not going to ship out inventory. You're not going to fulfill your orders. There are a whole bunch of things that goes into collaboration. And it's much more than just the exchange of a bookkeeping service. But it's to the point that I'm, I'm not afraid to tell you what I know. If it means that your business goes forward, I'm not afraid to tell you what I know. It's not a competition thing. And that's what collaboration means to me. So... Before we go any further, Tika, give them some information. Give them a little bio information about you so they know exactly who, who Tika Watkins is. You know, um, my name is Atika Watkins. I'm affectionately, affectionately known as Tika for those that know me. Um, I am an accountant extraordinaire and I maintain books. I've been in uh, accounting for a number of years, more than 15. I've worked in both public and I've worked in both private. I've moved millions of dollars as a, as a bookkeeper. And so I understand the fundamentals of uh, maintaining ledgers, maintaining financial statements, building systems, and sharing that information off with your people. If you wanted to connect with me, uh, speaking of the uh, bookkeeping um, seminars, if you want to connect with me, then you'll want to buy the bit.ly link at uh, help me today. Help me today. That'll reach me directly. And you said that was help, help me today? Help me today. B-I-T dot L-Y backslash help me today. That's what it is. So what we'll do is we'll start to get ready for people to open up for any questions. So guys, those who are watching us live, if you have any questions, by all means, start putting them into the comments and we'll start asking Tika while she's here with us live to answer some of those questions for us. But guys, it's really all about you. It's about moving you to that next level. And so it could be that step into being the ambassador. It could be that step into getting Tika services. But what it is that the main goal is movement. Because mm -hmm. see, that's, that is the one place that we've been fooled for way too long is that we've been fooled in thinking that um, that things are going to come to us all the time, mm -hmm. that we won't have to make any you know, judgment calls, that we won't have to put in any effort or we won't have to go the distance sometimes. We won't have to jump over hurdles sometimes. We, we, we kind of miss that piece. And so here it is, you have these both of these opportunities right before you, what are you going to do? You have the opportunity to get your brand and your business in front of other businesses, in front of uh, women all over the country, <laughs> as well as all over the world. You have the opportunity to meet up with us in Indianapolis. That is bit.ly forward slash 300 women indie. 
you also have the opportunity to be an ambassador. That is bit.ly forward slash freedom help. And guess what? It's about taking it to that next level. So who's ready to take it to the next level? Put it in the comments and say, I am. Who's ready to move? Say, I am. Who's ready to stop being fooled? <laughs> Say, I am. <laughs> Say, I am. Because we've been fooled long enough. Mm -hmm. We've been fooled into thinking that a job was the only way that we could make sure that our children eat. We've been fooled into thinking that, you know, our jobs were the only way, the only way that we could survive. See, we've been so taught and so trained to live at a survival mode that when someone comes along and teaches us that we can go into thriving and not just surviving, it's kind of difficult. Mm -hmm. It is. And I'll say, so, I'll say this, and hopefully I'm, out, I'm not out of line, but what I have experienced with working with um, a lot of women business owners is that um, we feel a sense of shame when our books are in shambles, when we don't know, when we don't have the answer to how much money we make, when we don't have the answer, you know, to how much money uh, you spend. You definitely want to, even if it's not for me, you definitely want to make sure that when you sign up for a bookkeeper, that you sign up with someone who you can absolutely trust because there's no judgment in the relationship. You know, yes, you might be in a bad financial position, but you need to, we need to know that in order for us to move forward. So just remove the shame factor is what I would say. Definitely. Definitely. So we thank you once again. Um, I'm going to see, did we have any questions? Let's go to the chat because you know. Okay. Somebody said I needed her before I started my first business. Oh. <laughs> do you give help to nonprofits? I do. I actually do. And you want to connect to the bit.ly backslash help me today link and we talk about it and not-for-profits need a lot of help because you have more than just financial reports to yourself or to you know a board you have financial information that you have to provide to uh your board your board as a nonprofit, but also to your funders if you are receiving any substantial money so yeah you, you have a lot there but bit.ly backslash help me today Great. And then I see that there's some more people coming in. So thank you for those who just joined us. We are starting to wrap up. Um, you're joining us again for the No Women Left Behind uh, Telesummit interviews, where we are interviewing some of the amazing speakers that have been coming on live. Uh, also, we're giving out information and letting you know how you can join us in Indianapolis. That's bit.ly forward slash 300 women Indy. Also, you have a great opportunity before you. Those of you who are looking to grow and expand your business, you can do so. Become an ambassador with Dawn Yell and the WSN program by joining us. You have the opportunity to be an ambassador in your area or being an ambassador for Indianapolis, where we will have 300 women strong, <laughs> not just hugging and laughing, and maybe a few tears. I don't know, because, you know, coach throws some bricks. Yeah. Maybe a few tears. <laughs> but we will be enjoying ourselves and growing and learning together. Mm -hmm. That is bit.ly forward slash freedom help. That's bit.ly forward slash freedom help for you to join the ambassador program. The ambassadors have some great things that they get along with the opportunity to have a free 10-week course with coach. Now, everybody who's been in one of coach's classes and knows the benefits of coach's classes, say me in the comments. So they know that getting a free 10-week class with coach is nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> nothing. It is nothing to sneeze at. For those who are just coming in, thank you so much for swiping, so much for the reactions as well. You guys are showing so much love. We appreciate it. <laughs> no question. Oh. No one has questions? I didn't see any more. They were saying me, me, me. A, a couple of other people said that they have nonprofits. Um, they said this is excellent, that they'll definitely be, they'll be reaching out. Okay. They want to miss anybody. Yes. Yeah, look at all her students. Me, me, me. 
<laughs> and Atika has her own webinar coming up soon. Uh, and, and we'll talk to you about how you can get into some of her courses uh, if you want to learn how to save thousands in your business uh, by knowing really how to keep your books. Absolutely. Shoot, I'm thinking about getting with Atika myself. She got to do mine, no coach ain't doing it. But I say that to say I'm a border. I'm gonna be like, you want this straw for doing my books? Don't be talking my coach. But but well, you know, something Atika said that was critical. We gotta get the money right before we get the millions. And that's where I am right now. Is I got them doing inventory. What all am I paying for? We got two and three of the same software packages. What's going out every month? When is it due? You know, you, you got to have all that in order. We pick up so much as business owners. At some point, you don't even know how much money you got going out. And I remember even having this conversation with Veronica was like, before I buy anything else, I'm going to look to see what I already have. And sometimes you're shorting yourself as a business owner, even though it is a tax, tax uh, deductible, you're over there paying for software instead of paying for a conference because you're overpaying. So... Uh, I'm gonna get off face. I'm gonna get off Periscope and let you guys go. I love y'all. I'll be back to see y'all later. Troy in there cooking breakfast, and he said he tired of fooling with me. And uh, Alta Beast, I'm gonna let y'all wrap up, and I'll see y'all later. Love you. Love you, Couch. <laughs> So as we wrap up, guys, we say thank you once again for joining us today. Those who have come on, who have swiped and invited, <laughs> shared, gave us love, who have gave questions and comments. Thank you all the questions. Thank you. Good. Hmm? Thanks for the questions. They were good. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So guys, who's meeting us in Indy? Like who's coming to see us in Indy? That's what I really want to know. <laughs> That's the real question. <laughs> Who's coming to meet us in Indy? Who's signing up to be an ambassador? Again, bit.ly forward slash freedom help to sign up to be an ambassador in your area or an ambassador for Indianapolis. So many opportunities there for you. You definitely want to go at least go to the website and see everything that comes with signing up. And Indianapolis, bit.ly forward slash 300 women Indy. Definitely, you want to get in this. You want to be there. For those of you that missed Vegas, for those of you that missed Fort Lauderdale, you do not want to miss Indianapolis. I can guarantee it. So do we have a final word from you, Tika? You know, just um, I, I just want to encourage people who are uh, starting up or who have been in business for, for a while that, you know, um, it's, it's really okay. Now that you know the information, let's just move forward. And you can connect with me at bit.ly backslash help me today. And I will have that uh, webinar coming in, in seven days. <laughs> but thank you. So thank you guys. You look forward to the webinar coming in seven days. If you haven't done so already, go and follow Tika Watkins here on Facebook. Connect with her or go to bit.ly forward slash help me today. Help me today. I was, I was seeing if any other questions came through, just to be sure. <laughs> okay, yes. So bit.ly forward slash help me today. Oh, love you guys. Love, love, love you guys. I again at Alta Beast Pelzer. I am the voice coach. You guys have a great day. Have an awesome day. <laughs>